Today, I want to discuss a really important question. Are current AI trends a speculative bubble, or do they represent a lasting change in economic fundamentals? Given that most of the US market's rise in recent times has been driven by the hike in the price of just a few stocks centered on AI, this is an important question, not least because when a bubble pops, it tends to be ordinary investors in their superannuation, which takes a hit because professional investors farm out risks to those at the end of the chain. So I want to map the economics of exuberance against the lessons of past manias and compare valuation metrics from the dot-com era to today's AI leaders. And also think about what major institutions are saying, particularly warning at the moment, and also draw out the likely macro and micro consequences of a sizable market correction if that would occur. Now, this discussion is also prompted by the significant rise in AI-related cross-investments and strategic partnerships, as big tech firms are increasingly taking equity stakes in AI startups, while those startups in turn accept capital, cloud commitments, and commercial deals from those same incumbents. It sounds a bit incestuous, really. Microsoft's multi-phase, multi-billion dollar partnership and capital support for open AI, including agreements that make Azure Open AI the startup exclusive cloud provider, is a clear example of deep financial and operational entanglement. Google and Amazon have purchased similar plays. Alphabet and Google has repeatedly invested in Anthropic, and expanded commercial ties, while Amazon has committed large sums and designated cloud roles for Anthropic as well. And corporate venture units and dedicated AI funds across the tech sector have also multiplied, formalizing those cross investments at massive scale. And of course, this means that these large players have now taken numerous minority stakes in those foundation building models and infrastructure startups as part of competitive cloud chip and platform strategies. And even people like Broadcom, Oracle and AMD have all benefited from similar cross investments with commitments from AI firms well, well ahead of their current capacity to pay. So as a philosopher and economist, yes, we are in the hype part of the cycle. The valuations are overdone and a correction is highly likely at some point. But the question, as always, is timing. 